Hi, I'm Ann Miller. I'm with Sage Flat Shooter. We're a Class 7 FFL and SOT located in Jordan, Montana. I also shoot for Team SFS uh, with my husband Eric and we are participants on the Long Range Reality Show on the Sportsman Channel. We've had a lot of questions about our guns, so today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about my gun and some of the elements involved that you're seeing on screen and also in some of the different inner workings um, on both our website as well as our Facebook page. First of all, this is a 6.5 SLR. Uh, it is using a defiance action called a trident made specifically for Sage Flat Shooter. Um, the bolt is fluted and it weighs in as an overall whole gun at 17.5 pounds. This seems really, really heavy, especially for someone of my stature, uh, but it actually pays off in spades because it helps so much with the recoil. The other important part about the weight of the gun to remember is that my fulcrum point is actually right here. And this is in part due to a heavier stock as well as a long barrel. My barrel is from Benchmark. It's 27 inches. It's a 1 8 twist. It's a medium palma with deep flutes both for the bling factor as well as the weight reduction factor. And uh, so again, it balances right here. This is excellent for use on barricades, anything that maybe I'm shooting downhill at a high angle. Anything like that, it prevents my gun weight from shifting all the way forward and it also prevents it from pushing back into my shoulder and uh, getting me off base with my scope and reticle. Speaking of the scope, this is a Gen 2 Razor. It's a 4.5 to 27. It's an EBR 2C reticle inside and this is a mill scope. I use a switch view going back and forth. It's a first focal plane so I don't have to worry about what power I'm on to make sure that my data is accurate. And again, in fast situations like a stage, you really don't want to have to worry about that, hence us moving from F2s to first focal planes for that very reason. Um, I'm using a Badger bolt knob, again, for the bling factor, just as much as the fact that as I am racking this bolt, I can easily grab it. Uh, it's curved but smooth, so that means even if I'm sweaty, I can still catch it, but I don't have enough positive connections to tear up my hand. Even with gloves on, if you're moving fast, it's just one less thing for me to worry about. The stock is a Accuracy International AICS 2.0 folder. Again, left-handed. It's excellent both because of the weight and the haft. The foldability means I can pack it up when I'm done, put it back in my Everly stock bag, and head on to the next stage. Um, so, especially with the length as well as the weight of the gun, that's a big advantage too. I really do like it as well because my husband, who is my teammate, uh, won it several years ago at the Sniper's Head Cup and uh, gave it to his wife. And so when you woo one another with firearm components, especially when they're good ones, uh, you have a hard time parting with them. Uh, I'm using a Timney trigger set at two and a half pounds. So this right there is what I'm comfortable with. I can anticipate that shot. It's not a snappy trigger, it's a very good quality trigger. Um, here on the scope, just because the scope is one of my higher dollar investments of the components here, I want to take good care of it. I also want to make sure that when I take it off or switch it with guns, um, I also don't have rub marks on it. And that's where the Seekin Precision Rings come in. The Seekin Rings are manufactured in my hometown of Lewiston, Idaho by Glenn and Kitty Seekins. These are excellent both because they're low profile but they're stout and sturdy. So I have yet to have a scope move around even after hours and hours of work. Um, my scopes are definitely not safe queens, as you can tell from some of the markings here. So if you're expecting to actually use your gun components, it's important to have things that are going to hold up over time. Underneath here I have Harris bipods that are fully extendable. Uh, these work really, really well uh, on stages both high angle with movement as well as with barricades that can easily flip them up or get them out of my way and flip them back down again. Even with gloves on, I have been able to move and maneuver the adjustments without any difficulty. I always shoot suppressed. Uh, this is out of kindness both to my own ears as well as my neighbor. I like to be invited back to matches and so I am shooting a lane suppressor of the Scorpion series and uh, then I'm anticipating getting other suppressors from lane as the season continues. Thanks and have a great day.